Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the progress that has been made in NVIDIA Share Beta. Now I'm not going to go through and read all this, I'm just going to show it to you, so here it is. It's, uh, it's always available, all you got to do is press a keystroke that you, you tell it what keystroke you want. The default is Alt-Z, and I haven't found a cause to change it. This is the overlay that you get, and I know a lot of people don't like overlays, but trust me, this is very good. It's very good. Um, if you don't know, NVIDIA Share is a beta version of Shadowplay, and Shadowplay is uh, what NVIDIA has developed, and AMD followed suit, where the the GPU acts like a capture card and it actually has its dedicated it has its own dedicated encoder like an encoder chip on the GPU so you can record gameplay or anything else really with little to no noticeable impact on gaming performance which is very nice if you uh, are used to using something like OBS which is what I'm using now to record this because I can't do some of the things in the overlay while I'm recording with this. Uh, maybe you use Fraps or DX Tori. You can get not the same quality because, like, you can record lossless with uh, DX Tori or Fraps. But if you're going to upload it to YouTube or even really watch it later, there's so little of a difference on high quality that it's it's not worth uh, using Fraps or DX Tori, OBS, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Let me get into... <clears throat> start over here. Instant Replay. This is one of the really cool things that it does. It can just sit here and record constantly. Like all the time. And you can just hit a keystroke if you do something cool in a game and it'll just save your last uh, half a minute up to 20 minutes of gameplay and it says uh, what the file size will be for that file you can choose 30 or 60 FPS and these resolutions and you have presets but 50 megabits is the highest that it will go which may sound a bit ridiculous if you're used to CPU encoding but um, NVENC, which is the dedicated encoder chip on these NVIDIA GPUs, are not as efficient, I guess you just, we could say, at uh, encoding. So it takes a little bit higher bitrate. But still, compared to something like Fraps, it's ridiculous the file sizes, like the file size difference. It's much smaller and you get great quality still. And this is for normal recording. You have the same options for quality. I keep it at 60 FPS, 1080p, 50 megabits. And I just like re encode it later if I'm going to upload it. Because, I don't know, that just makes more sense to me. It looks better and everything. You can stream to. I'll get to that later. You can broadcast YouTube, Twitch. There's more. I just don't have it set up because I don't stream. Um, let's see here. You can record by either by either uh, opening the thing and clicking start. You'll see it says recording. You can't see it on the video, but there is a little overlay right here that uh. It's like a status message, it's a little green dot, just to indicate that you're recording so you don't forget. And you can stop it like this. Or, if you're just on your computer and you think, oh, that looks cool, you can just press a keystroke and you know, it'll start recording. No impact on performance or anything. Press the keystroke again and it saves it. Now... You have a gallery to see all of your stuff if you want. You can delete them if they sucked. 
you got 360 no scope you can just delete the evidence you have this this is a big deal it was missing this option for so long you can adjust the volume of your mic and you can adjust the boost of your mic this is important for me because I have a very quiet microphone it's a dynamic microphone and I use it in a way that it probably shouldn't be used but it's all I have so I have to use a lot of boosts boost yeah so that's great that was recently added you have options for a webcam and you have your your uh, settings menu okay starting with overlays this is the um, status indicators that will appear in the corners of your screen if you wish them to you can't see them on the recording because I'm recording with OBS and it just won't show them for whatever reason probably because I'm capturing with uh, DirectX if you don't know what that means don't worry about it but uh, this you can <clears throat> you can adjust where you want things to show up how you want it to look if you have a webcam it has different sizes you can put it in different places places and this is where you put in all your keyboard shortcuts uh, hotkeys all that customize that how you like it this is your file paths very straightforward streaming I don't use that broadcasting you can actually get into some more uh, detailed settings in the NVIDIA what's it called GeForce Experience app if you want to set all that up right the yeah so if you're into streaming you can do this privacy control desktop capture this is a big deal like if you turn this on if you have it on yes you can capture absolutely anything on your desktop I mean on your computer it's like you have a capture card it's great it's better than a capture card it's way more convenient um I think I covered everything yeah guys that's it I just wanted to let everyone know that this even existed because I mean it's it's freaking amazing it's very convenient to just be able to be playing a game and think oh I want to record something done you know if you if you're using something like OBS well I'll just show you here um, oh, dang it hold on you know it's kind of it's a pain to set everything up before you want to start recording and you know you, by the time you get everything set up you're like out of the mood to even play a game to record and so you know it's nice to just have something where you can be like there and you get great quality great sound and everything so that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one